The Nissan GTR first debuted in 2007. The car has been around for some time now, and it experienced some upgrades throughout the years. Nothing super exciting unless you love the new facelifts. Now that we have a new Godzilla, is it really just another facelift? In today's video, I'm going to be going over everything you would possibly want to know about the new R35 GTR. This time, we get a more simple but improved front bumper that gives off some R34 GTR vibes. I know a lot of people are going to be liking that new front bumper. The back bumper, I personally love especially the new brake light in the back of the diffuser. The spoiler also looks a lot sharper around the edges than the normal one from previous years. The Nismo spoiler, however, got a big upgrade. That thing is massive and I'm sure it glues the back end to the road. With the new R35, they're bringing back some pretty awesome paint choices. The two that really stand out is the Millennium Jade and Midnight Purple. The Midnight Purple is obviously gonna get a lot of people excited because as you know, it looks amazing on basically any GTR, especially the R34. Midnight Purple might get people excited, but is the performance gonna live up to that? It's still the same twin turbo V6 that we all know and love. I'm sure nobody's really too upset that they didn't put something crazy in it, because we know that the twin turbo V6 that's in there is super tunable, it's not super expensive, and you can get tons of power. And I'm just glad that they did not make it electric. The premium model is pushing around 565 horsepower and 467 foot-pounds of torque. That's nothing super insane compared to the models in previous years. The Nismo does make a little bit more power. It makes around 600 horsepower and 481 foot-pounds of torque. Oh, and did I mention it's going to cost you around double to get that extra 35 horsepower in the Nismo. The premium base model is going to start around $117,000. The T-Spec at $145,000, and the Nismo at a whopping $215,000. Although the Nismo looks incredible, I don't think it's worth paying almost double just for basically the same car. This new GTR can launch you from 0 to 60 in just 2.9 seconds. That's like not even a difference compared to a 2016 GTR, let alone the new facelift like the 2017 through the 2022. It's kind of crazy that they haven't really upgraded the performance that much. At this point, every single car company just needs to start competing with Corvette. The new Z06 is literally destroying the competition. Nothing even comes close, not even this new GTR. With all that being said, I still think the new GTR is going to sell. It's going to do well. It's a GTR, so that's just what we have to expect. People are definitely going to mod them, do body kits, all that stuff, big power everything like that. The new GTR just didn't really live up to what I would want a new GTR to be, but you know, you can't really ask too much from Nissan since they had just released the new Z. Let me know your thoughts on this upcoming car in the comments. Make sure to subscribe and like this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.